Is it possible that an app would rise to the level that's like a true must have inside of a bookkeeping firm? Like every single bookkeeping firm ought to have it. I, I, I don't know, but I made a list, a list of apps that I think may rise to that level, or at least the leading candidates. Take a look at this up first. I mean, this is an easy one, right tool. Don't let this big dumb face fool you. It was created by major YouTube celebrity Hector Garcia. And what it is basically is just a Chrome extension that lives in the corner of your browser. And anytime you use QuickBooks online, it makes it better in a whole bunch of different ways. So you get a little side panel, handy shortcuts for getting around, like better navigation options. But under the hood, it does a whole bunch more than this. In fact, look at this. A host of keyboard shortcuts you can't otherwise get. I get overwhelmed every time I try to explain uh, right tool to people because there's so many things that it does. Uh, common irritation with QBO, not being able to open stuff into multiple tabs. Right tool solves for that. Did I mention it's free? They have a free ad supported version. Like at a bare minimum, this is not an exaggeration. Anybody that uses QBO ought to be using right tool. They have a pro version, unlock some more features. But the origin story of this is Hector Garcia, who's like probably the biggest QBO trainer globally, was like, there's a whole bunch of ways that this app can be improved. And it's the stuff that you shout at the developer for years and they just don't do it. Well, they built a Chrome extension that then made those changes to the platform. We actually did a whole uh, five minute demo of this. That's actually what you saw on the landing page here. If you wanna learn more about Right Tool, no brainer for anybody that uses QBO. Okay, up next, this is kind of a weird thing to shill so hard for, but up next, I've got Practice Protect. And those of you who knows what this is, you're nodding already. Those of you who don't are like, I'm bored, man. Here's the thing, in a bookkeeping practice, you end up managing a whole ton of client credentials. Stuff that, ooh, you don't really want, but you do want so that you can like jump in and grab the goodies yourself rather than having to wait for the client. But what do you do with all of these credentials? Ah, no. At a bare minimum, you ought to be using a password manager, like a LastPass or a 1Password. But here's why that's not enough, is even if all of your passwords are in a password manager, your entire team can still see them. Which means somebody leaves, what's the, like, what do you do next? Do you reset every single one of those passwords? Well, no, because they have access to a kajillion of them. How do you make it so that anybody can use those credentials without fear of those credentials being stolen? Hmm? Th this, that's why we're here. Practice Protect. It's a single sign-on provider. And what this is, make it bigger, oh yeah. This is a portal that then all of your team logs into where they access all of their apps from Practice Protect rather than logging into those platforms directly. And it actually means they don't even have to be able to see the credentials you use to get into those apps. So if they leave, all you do is you turn off one login, you turn off Practice Protect, you don't have to scramble and like disable all this other stuff. Now, bunch of other benefits too, like geolocking, like, uh, nobody being able to use their account from outside the US. It logs anytime somebody accesses Practice Protect. So you can see not only anytime your team logs in, but also every single time they've used one of the apps. That's pretty good. Used it in my firm. Uh, there's, they're seriously like the only provider doing single sign-on in our space. So it's a pretty easy recommendation. Okay, how about something more sexy? Ooh, this one's juicy. Uncat. Uncat users, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Is this like a must buy? Now. Uncat, like revolutionized how you get, oh, look at that. How you gather information from clients for uncategorized transact, eh, transactions. How it works in a nutshell is basically you point it to any accounts on the ledger, usually uncategorized expense, uncategorized income, maybe ask my accountant. And then anytime a transaction hits that account, your client on a notification schedule of your choosing gets an email saying, hey, we need some help with these transactions. And so they can then log in, they see the list of transactions and give you whatever background or receipts that you need to be able to close those out. That is the very basic implementation of uncategorized expenses. And you've seen probably now practice management systems, some of them are beginning to implement some aspects of this, but still today, Uncat is by far the most powerful implementation of this. A couple different scenarios. Let's say you've got a client where a bunch of different employees have credit cards and maybe tracking, tracking those people down for like billing hardware out to clients or something like that is a big headache. It's a whole bunch of chasing people down all the time. With a single Uncat account, which is super cheap, what is it? It's nine bucks a month per client right now. For $9 a month, you can cut Uncat loose to then go pester any number of users on the client business side whenever transactions come in for their specific card. So transactions hit uncategorized, but then you can also tailor where those notifications go to based on what card it came through from. 
And the big old cherry on top here is I can set up like auto bank rules to automatically put ambiguous transactions into the accounts that Uncap will pick up. So let's say every single Amazon purchase or Costco purchase, because it could be a hundred different things, right? As soon as that comes through the bank feed, it goes to the uncategorized expense account. The client on their notification schedule gets notified and I never even had to log into the accounting ledger. I didn't lift a finger and that entire workflow kicks off gathering information from as many people as you need. Think about that across like hundreds of client books. And it can get specific like making those people provide a class or a location. Super granular stuff that is normally a hugely painstaking, annoying process. Somebody's chasing people down. I had a client where they had somebody that spent not an exaggeration, probably 20 hours a week gathering massive volumes of information from the members of the team that all had their own Amex cards and were going out and doing like IT purchasing on all their different jobs. This would have literally automated all of that. This is one of those things where you can get a basic version of it from some practice management systems, but Uncat remains like the much more flexible, more powerful version if you need it. Okay, up next, I'm hedging. I'm gonna give you two options. Up next, I want you to have a proposal solution, a standalone proposal solution. One of two of them, either Ignition or Anchor. One of those two options. And this is another case where practice management systems are now doing a version of proposals that's not good enough for me. That's not good enough. And I am a real stickler when it comes to optimizing how you do your proposals and your renewals. We're coming up on 2025 renewal season right now. And if you think about it, that renewal process, which a lot of firms treat as this administrative thing, that renewal process is truly locking in the profitability of your firm next year. That's about to happen. And there's so many ways that you can fine tune that renewal process to squeeze a little bit more money out of that renewal. And every single one of those dollars, that is profit to the bottom line. So building in things like urgency and scarcity, implementing three-tier proposals the right way, having a finite amount of, you know, say your most premium package and clients being able to see that and that creating some urgency, being transparent about how much capacity you actually have rather than being apologetic about, yeah, sorry, we're over capacity. Like, no, you're in demand. Does Ferrari apologize? for them not having enough cars for everybody to buy. Does Chanel apologize when they don't make a big enough run of a handbag where everybody can get it? No, they don't. They're like, we're in demand, suckers. Maybe next time you won't miss out. We should be more like that because you do have very real capacity constraints. But if all you do is send like, uh, you know, a word doc or a basic e-signature, if that is the process for a client to opt in, that's too basic and it's costing you big time money. And I know, we have so many tools in our stack, we don't want yet another, but your proposal tool literally makes you more money every single time you do it right. Now, flip a coin between Anchor and Ignition right now. For some firms, Anchor is going to be less expensive, but Ignition still has some functionality that I really like that I can't get on the Anchor side. Ugh, how did he get in here? Okay, two more to go. And I still remember the first time I saw this app, I was like, where have you been all of my life? We talked about it on the channel before, Scribe. Here's how Scribe works in a nutshell. Basically, it is a Chrome extension. I think they got a little guide down here. So step one, capture the process. You hit start recording. That's a little drop down panel from the Chrome extension. You click around, you do whatever you need to do. Like, uh, let's say, invite your accountant to QBO. Super common thing, right? We'll start capturing. You click through the process each step, and then it makes a step-by-step -step guide with screenshots and little like titles showing them where to click each step along the way. That is one of those things where you can create it once and then your team can use it hundreds and hundreds of times. If you if, actually, if you're a tax firm hanging out, what are you doing? This is a bookkeeping video, but payments, like how to make an estimated payment, log into the IRS site, all that. Oh, so good for scribes. I digress, uh, you know, using your client portal. So many things that we ask clients to do over and over and over again, create a scribe for at once. That is external use cases for scribe, but internal use cases, we actually did a whole video on SOPs and how to build those out the right way for your firm. Do you do video? Do you do text? I can tell you what you do use, scribe, creating super clear SOP docs that are light years ahead of like a Word doc because they're dynamic and you can go in and you can edit steps later without having to redo the whole thing. They're super fast to create because it records the steps as you do it. There are a bunch of tools like Scribe now. Scribe actually kicked off a whole bunch of sort of copycats. I will say one reason I'm still sticking with Scribe is the pricing is good. So this is annual billing. Let me switch this to monthly. You can try it out for free. 
In all likelihood, what you're going to want is Pro. And remember, this is only for creators of Scribe. So if not everyone on your firm creates them, you don't need a license for them. But what you get with Pro is a desktop app so that you can record these demos not just in the browser, but on any desktop apps as well, particularly for internal use cases. That desktop functionality is really nice. Okay, last one. And I, I hate to even say it. QuickBooks desktop hosting. <laughs> Are you serious? You might still have a few clients on QBD. You may still have a bunch of clients on QBD because that works best for their business for some reason. Maybe they've got a whole bunch of stuff on enterprise. Huge quality of life improvement. Require your clients to host those files on a platform of your choosing. I'm not a QBD guy, but I know a lot of bookkeeping firms who still have a few of these. Getting those files hosted, it's gonna make your life way, way easier. Don't let the client go out and choose something because they're gonna pick something awful. My three recommended hosting platforms here for you, Ace Cloud Hosting, we're gonna link all these below. Verido, I know a lot of people are really happy with Verido, and Rightworks as well. Those are the three providers that I know the most people having really good luck with. Also, if you're a tax firm using Thomson Reuters virtual office, switch to any one of those three Bonus and you're gonna app. save a whole ton of money. Bonus what is app. Bonus What is app. that? Bonus oh. app. Bonus app. <laughs> a bonus app. Is this video sponsored? Carbon, roll the music, please. Carbon, one of the most popular practice management system for bookkeeping practices. By the way, it's on my short list of top recommendations. You wanna know why Carbon's gonna be killer for your bookkeeping practice? Well, it does what you need from a practice management system. It gets all your stuff in one place. But three things Carbon does really, really well. Workflow, being able to see where all your stuff is at. Reporting, like super deep analytical stuff for capacity planning, for getting a deeper understanding of the profitability of your projects. And then third, something that Carbon does better than anybody else in the game, full stop, email triage. Because I know that you think that you do accounting, but if my three-year-old son walked in and watched me running an accounting firm, he'd be like, Daddy, you do Microsoft Outlook. You don't do accounting. He wouldn't say that. He doesn't even know, he can't read. You know what I mean? You spend half your day on email, but your workflow tools, do they even incorporate email? Carbon's triage functionality embeds email like right in work. I get an email that requires somebody to do something. It's a task now. I can assign it to my team. I can attach it to an existing project. Super complete system like workflow templates for beginning to end monthly accounting engagements. Automate stuff based on the status. Even kick off like billing, invoicing the clients based on status. Super smart stuff. To learn more about Carbon, check out the link down in the video description. You got any tools that I missed that are like must haves for bookkeeping firms? Drop that stuff down in the comments. The more we actually share that stuff with each other, the better, because maybe you stumbled into something that's amazing and we just haven't found it yet, right? Tell me about it. Links to all the tools down below and check out this other video. This is another tech roundup we've done. Might be something in there that you like. I'm just saying.